Yeah, right. So the question is whether the suffering in the world, the terrible suffering and the amount of suffering in the world is terrible, whether that's incompatible with, um, with the existence of God. And I think the answer, whether it's incompatible, is clearly no. Um, many years ago, in the, 19, in the 1970s, um, I wrote a book called God, Freedom, and Evil, in which um, I talked about the free will defense. And by use of the free will defense, you can, you can really show, you can show formally that there isn't any contradiction between the proposition that there is such a person as God, who is omnipotent and omniscient and wholly good on the one hand, and the existence of suffering and death and evil and the like on the other. But that's not the whole of the question. You might, so, so philosophers after that, um, they turned away from the claim that there was a contradiction here, that is those philosophers who wanted to say there was a real problem here for uh, believers in God, to the claim that instead um, the existence of God is uh, an all good God and so on, is unlikely or improbable given all the evil that there is in the world. So the question, the suggestion is, well, maybe there's no contradiction, but if you see how much evil there is, you can't sensibly also believe in God. Um, that too is very hard to make out. Philosophers have been trying ever since, since the 70s, to state this probabilistic version of the problem of evil in a way that really works. And uh, my inclination is to say nobody succeeded at that at all. That's very difficult. It gets much messier than the original straight claim of a nice, clean contradiction. Um, so I don't think that works either. Of course, Christians do, and other believers in God, do have something of a problem with the existence of evil. Um, even if there's no contradiction, even if the probabilistic argument doesn't work, still, why does God do that? You know, and God is wholly good, but we see the terrible things that happen in our world. And um, I think the answer has to be, in the long run, that we don't really know. We don't know why, at least in any detail, why God uh, permits the evil that he does.